In this video, we will show you how to convert an element into a shared element to manage elements that are repeated on multiple pages. If a single UI element is present across multiple web pages or screens, you need not maintain them separately as we have a feature called Shared Elements, which addresses maintainability amongst UI elements. To turn a UI element into shared elements, we follow these ways. Assuming you have already built a UI element repository using Fireflink Finder and assigned the UI elements to their respective pages and subpages, you can now proceed with the following steps. Start by expanding the tree view of pages, which will display the list of located UI elements. For each UI element, you will notice a version shared tab. To make an element shared and accessible across multiple pages and sub pages, simply toggle the option within the version shared tab. By enabling this option, you ensure that the element is now shared and can be utilized across different pages and sub pages within your project. Another way to share the UI elements is while adding a UI element manually into the repository. For that, get to the desired module from the tree view and click on the plus icon. Select Add Element option, followed by selecting the Add Manually option. Further, a Create Element pop-up appears, where the user can enter the name of the UI element and select the type of the element from the drop-down. The user can now input the locator list. For that, select the locator type from the drop-down, select the value type, and input the locator value. You can add as many locators as per the test automation requirement. Later, the user will come across a checkbox labeled, Copy to Shared Elements page. By selecting this checkbox and clicking the Create button, the manually added UI element will be included in the Shared Elements section. To verify if the element is saved as a shared element, click on the Elements drop-down and select the Shared Elements option. You can now view the list of the shared UI elements. To make use of shared elements when adding elements to a page, you can follow these steps. First, click on the plus icon next to the desired page in the repository. From the options provided, select Add Elements. Next, click on Add from Shared Element to open a pop-up window, which contains all the shared elements. In this pop-up, you can check the boxes next to the elements you want to add to the page, and then click on the Add button. By following these steps, you will be able to observe the successful addition of the element to the new page. To summarize, we have covered the two different ways in which a user can turn an element into a shared element that can be used across multiple pages. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, visit www.fireflink.com and schedule a free demo today.